Happy New Year! <laughs> oh. Oh, we already did that. Hi guys, I haven't seen you since last year. Okay, I quit. No more, no more, no more. We're done with that now. I like fireworks. Hi guys, hope you all had a great New Year's. I didn't even get to see the countdown because I was with my family and they were watching a football game. But yes, today I thought we would have a nice chill start to the New Year's where I just spent a day in my new mansion because I didn't build this for no reason, all right? This is like my main, main house with the milk cart alley being the other main house. So you'll either see me here or there. But um, yes, I want to spend some time here. I did a bit of updating, like I added some things to the home, not too much, um, and also updated Updated some of my paintings slash decals, so I wanted to show you guys that as well. I still have a lot of paintings to add, but I would definitely want to add like a bread art hall of fame or a bread art room dedicated to your guys' bread arts. I don't like to call it fan art. As you can see, the house is still decked out for Christmas because once I take these down, it's gonna be so plain. The house, I mean, it might be okay. Once you get rid of the decorations, it's just not like lively anymore. I already I put some uh 2023 new year banner here as well just that added a couple of balloons around the house okay anyways let me just go back outside i guess i'll do another tour this is like a separate video for just the new winter mansion tour here it is i know i've shown this a lot wait is my quality oh i was about to say i'm like seeing all sorts of hold on that's there we go oh my gosh i was about to say like the quality not that good it looks pixely there we go my graphics were like weird but here's the house i've shown this too many times i do this camera all the time but once again the front of this house i found off of the google image based off the front i didn't get any other um pictures of the other sides of the house unfortunately because they didn't have it they didn't even have the floor plan either it was basically on one of those websites that says like the nicest winter ski lodge mansion so i didn't have the floor plan or too many pictures of the actual house so i basically just built it based off the front and then guessed everywhere else from the for the other sides of the house i pretty much just based it off of a like winter typical winter ski like chalet 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 i don't know how to say that word yeah everything is still Christmasy. there's a few new year's uh items inside i have to put those warming trays in my house so maybe we can do that too it's very festive still i don't want to take it down i don't want to get rid of Christmas in this house it's just too cozy but I might. Did you also notice the fire uh, extinguisher next to my tree? Yeah, I'm s I'm here to be safe. All right. Can we hold this? Imagine if you could hold it and like spray people. That'd be hilarious. My living room's okay. I got all my trophies. I added an area for all the of my other trophies here. So I got my streaks, my visits stuff, my skills, and the premium. So I have those on display now. This area is still kind of like, you know, it's, it's all right. Minimalist. And then out in the back here, I just added like chilling spot and a little... Um, radio, what's it called? Uh, um, jukebox. I added a jukebox back here, pretty nice. So, nothing too crazy there. I guess we'll go downstairs real quick, actually. I'm gonna show you guys downstairs. Oh my gosh, spending a day here. So here, it begins the bread art. So this was made by a wonderful person on Twitter named Phil, who's been making so many bread arts for me throughout the year. So as you can see, they made like fall one. This was when like, I was in my fall era. It's so beautiful. Um, another fall photo. Then we got into the wintry ones. I think this was for my birthday. Oh, But yeah, I uploaded a few bread arts, maybe like 11. And I still have a lot more to upload because I finally decided to not be lazy and I have yet more to post. This one, since it's a long painting, I added just like some random wintery photo. I just searched up winter. Starts some more over here. They've made so many arts for me. You can tell like their style based off their style and all the improvements. They even made my little gingerbread house. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Thank you, Phil. Happy New Year's. Like they got it updated, okay? They got it updated. That's not even all of the art they made for me. Um, Bagel Paradise, when I finished Bagel Paradise. But yes, I've begun to not be lazy and post more decals. So there's that. I think those are the, all, all the art so far. And then I, of course, added my movie posters in the movie theater room and filled up all of my food stations, like my slushy machines and popcorn. So I added more vehicles in here. I just stuffed a bunch of vehicles in here so my house value will go up. <laughs> it's almost 2 million now because of just those block bucks vehicles. Um, oh yeah, I fixed my ceiling in here too. My my roof and the uh, indoor pool. So everything looks good now. Okay, we don't got that weird different colored roof issue ceiling problem. Updated slightly with this like foyer front entrance area. I just added like a mini mudroom type thing here. Even though mudrooms are only near the back of the house, I just added a cubby space you know near the front door and then over here in the gaming room i added arcade machines out on this balcony but it's okay it's under a roof right here so it probably won't be affected by the weather too much 
even though it's really cold out here but i got arcade machines out here now that i should have just made a whole arcade room because like i was running out of room ideas and arcade should have been one of them so maybe i'll replace one of these rooms with the on arcade with an arcade setup somewhere and then i have a secret room right here to check my cameras this is my panic room so if i like someone breaks in because this is a mansion who wouldn't want to break in here i can check my cameras and we got some good views of the outdoors like i like this view right here this one's hidden inside a tree by the way so no one's gonna see this one unless you see where this tree is located like based off where this is even though we live in a mansion that costs millions of dollars i bought the cameras that didn't have the, the color because i was cheap okay i bought the colorless cameras so we have like photos of the back we got the bar this is like the balcony up front bar area this is the back of my house so we have a good amount i think i may need a few more but those are some good cameras to look at but yeah i think those are all the updates on my house oh wait i have to go upstairs i have to go upstairs hold on so the upstairs was plain i took a bit of time to like add very little things to it to make it less plain so this bedroom has it looks normal now sort of normal so this pink bedroom uh, I had a decals, of course, everywhere in this hallway, too. Like, I feel like with this type of mansion, I needed, like, nature, like, photos or just whatever, you know? So I have, like... Okay, this looks weird. I don't know what, what I was going for there. Winter. Oh, let's add this one. Oh, there we go. That's a lot better. You can tell what it is now. <gasps> My goal one day is to travel into the mountains. Like, this looks so beautiful. Where do you think this is? Colorado? Oh, yeah, this room, my favorite room, has, like, added kids' drawings now, so... Yay, PETA putting up some decals finally. Ooh, PETA putting some decals up finally. Wow, unheard of. <laughs> unheard of. I don't know. It just gets really boring to put decals up after you've done all the work. Like, not boring. It just, it's exhausting. Okay, yeah, I think that's mostly the updates. Yeah, mostly the updates up here. Just, I love it. I love this house. I don't think I'm going to be ever deleting this. Like, I don't think I'll ever delete this for a long, long time. It's just one of my proudest, one of my proudest builds because I like made up this floor plan based off of like squares and just whatever worked well together so um, it's just nice okay one day when we get a gallery i'm gonna post this and you guys can live in it too if you like i don't know how much it's gonna be maybe around this much but oh that's a lot of money i don't know I, i'm pretty much yeah i'm day in my day in my mansion you know we can keep this one because it's coeptus okay coppletus legacy will remain forever okay coppletus and the noob See, look, they're all together. Coppletus, the noob that's near the observatory tunnel, and the elf that pops up sometimes, you know? Okay, I love how, like, this TV is not, like, even that big. You would think for, like, this type of living room, it'd be a big TV. But I just went with whatever fit on the fireplace. Oh, and my custom carpet. I believe this was a um, Lucas carpet. I went into Lucas's uh, decal inventory and took one of these carpets. So, his name is spelled Luke Iocast, Luke Iocast, but... It's Lucas. Very nice carpet from him. I've also stocked up on a lot of New Year's cakes. 34. Not a lot, but that's quite a bit. Now it's just an actual day in my mansion. Now that we've got the updates out of the way, I can like do my chores. I can like clean and stuff. I don't know why I'm trying to clean the counter. The counters don't get dirty. That'd be cool though. Like once you prepare food, the counter starts getting dirty. I don't think it does. Our first dinner here at the mansion, because I haven't really made like actual dinner here. So you guys get to be on this journey with me to make my first meal in this plate. What sounds good? Spaghetti sounds pretty good. Let's make some spaghetti. Pomodoro. 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 And since I am a child age, um, the cooking looks really weird. So we won't really get to see like the realistic food making process. <laughs> I don't know. When I turn into a teenager or adult, my, my clothes just look more clunky. You know, I just that's why I'm always a kid because the clothes are actually like smaller and reasonably sized. But like if you're, I don't know, maybe it's just my type of clothing is just too clunky looking. Okay, we boiled the spaghetti. Oh, this is so quick to make. You know, I don't make too many foods in this game. I only make like mostly just the seasonal ones. Making spaghetti for once. Wow, that was quick. Look, we got spaghetti. What else should I make? Or like a side? Should I have like a salad? I don't want to make the salad. I kind of just, you know, we'll make it. Garden salad. That sounds super healthy. I love how I just dumped the marshmallows in the hot chocolate in there too. That's just great. All right, let's go and have some food. I'm gonna have some salad first. Oh, my my hot chocolate's ready. Okay, but the, but the hot chocolate is a bit random, but it's okay. Mmm, delicious. That'd be cool if the laundry worked the same way like you make the food. So you like put your clothes in the the washer, and then you can go walk around and do whatever you want while it's washing, and then you can come back, put it in the dryer, walk around, do something until it's done drying. Maybe they'll do that for this year or something. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> the way I'm just like leaning back to put that in there. Wait, what am I doing? 
Is that a dryer? That sounds like a washer for some reason. I think we're fine. It's a dryer. And then I can put this away. Store my clothes. Did you know you're not supposed to do laundry on the first day of New on New Year's Day? Like, I heard that was bad luck or something. Okay, let me read what it says. Don't wash clothes. If you wash clothes on New Year's Day, you'll be washing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's kind of scary. I don't even want to. <laughs> I just looked it up and I figured out why it's bad luck, the superstition. So never mind. But it's New Year's. It's the second day of January now, so you can do laundry now. That's why I'm doing laundry. Okay, it's not New Year's Day. Oh, also, I forgot to mention this. I added a hot tub out here, like a jacuzzi, <laughs> right under this roof, so it's okay. So not only do we have hot springs, but there's a jacuzzi right here, because this area, I felt like needed something, so. But overall, that's my mansion. Um, Yeah, that's my mansion. Let me put these away, actually. I'm gonna store those. Okay, you know what? One of my favorite areas of this house is definitely the second living room, because like, I don't know, I just, I really enjoy this spot. Oh, this is great. I wish we could have just snow whenever like whenever they take the winter items out i hope they just keep the snow effect in the game because yeah make, just make it for the neighborhood you don't have to keep like the neighborhood should have every weather effect available you know so i hope they keep snow definitely a lot better than my first ever mansion i built and that was also a google image like house with an actual floor plan that i followed and like photos around the house this one not too many photos of the house and i was able to to make it look nicer than the first mansion. That's great. I'm gonna do a little bit of swimming. You know, let's just sit here, my indoor pool area. I'm gonna do a bit of swimming. I don't have a swimsuit. Do I have one? I think I have a swimming outfit, do I? I don't think I do. Let's just use Snatched Made. <laughs> let's just be Snatched Made. This is close enough to my swimsuit. Yes! But I think that was pretty much it for a day of my life in my new mansion, my wintry mansion. Um, definitely a lot more bread art. If you guys like to send more bread art, you can, uh, you know, send it to me on Twitter at It's Peter Bread or Instagram. I haven't been on Instagram in a long time, but if you still want to send some, some bread art there, you can. It's Peter Bread as well. If you guys have any new video suggestions for the year, leave those, of course, down in the comments down below because I think I'm actually out of video ideas now since we got all of the Christmas stuff out of the way, the New Year's things. But um, yeah, leave some more video suggestions down below. I will definitely be reading a lot of them and just kind of planning out, you know, some more videos for the week. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Happy New Year's, my first video of the year. How fun. What do you guys think is going to happen in Block Break this year? Let me know as well.